First question is from Flores FR. I'd like to focus on my hamstrings and I need recommendations for home gym workouts. You know, this is one of the body parts that people will often say is hard to do at home. And I think that's because mm. when we think of hamstring exercises, we think of hamstring curls, yeah. hamstring curl machines. Now it is true that if you have a home gym, you probably don't have a hamstring curl machine, but here's the good news. Of all the hamstring exercises you could do, hamstring curl machines are like down way down the list in terms of effectiveness of building strength, functional uh, ability, size to your hamstrings. The best hamstring exercises are the ones that tend to have you hip hinge. Mm -hmm. Stiff-legged deadlifts, Romanian Romanians. deadlifts, mm -hmm. single leg deadlifts. Like that'll build more muscle and strength in your hamstrings than leg curls. Now, if you love leg curls, and you want to work specifically on the leg bicep, which is a part of the leg, the hamstring that does that and flexes the knee. I like to do hips elevated leg curls on a physio ball. I'll do them at the those end of brutal. a hamstring, you know, workout. And they're really, they're really good. Those are, those are brutal. What's the other, uh, what's the name of the one where you like hook your heels underneath? Like, oh, that's gnarly. What's that, that called? Nordic curl? Is that Nordic curl? Is yeah, that what it's called? I think so. Yeah, I think it's called a Nordic curl. I mean, you could do that. There's ways if you want to, to do that specific movement that you can just find a way to do it at home. Yeah. But RDLs and good mornings. I mean, you, you do RDLs and good mornings for your hamstrings and I guess throw some stability ball leg curls in there. And I think, I think it's just because of mm -hmm. all the muscles, it's probably the one that I think, as far as your main muscles that everybody trains, uh, has the least amount of machines for. Yeah. Right. If you're all leg curl, all variations of well, leg curl. I always thought that the lats were a lot more difficult to address for at home workouts. Uh, being as though, like, you really have to have something like attached to get any kind of pull up situation or like some cables or something like that versus you can't you, use gravity. Just, yeah. So I, I always found that a little more difficult. But yeah, I can, I mean, you're right. There are like, and people kind of recognize hamstrings as being attached to those very specific types of machines in the gym. Yeah. So a leg curl machine, you know, we don't have that, but you can get a pretty nice, um, you know, uh, exercise you out know, of those that you mentioned. You know, I, I actually started to notice uh, more development in my hamstrings just from squatting deeper too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was like one of those, both the, the calf and hamstring I got as a, a secondary benefit that I was not anticipating from just trying to, like when I was working on my squat, I was like, oh, I'm going to do this so I could develop my calves more, my hamstrings. But I noticed they developed more just from doing that. I thought that was- Especially really, really deep, right? Yeah. The yeah. stabilization that's involved. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people, when they think of hamstrings, the average person thinks of, you know, flexing the knee, right? Bending the knee. Not realizing that the hamstrings play a huge role in hip hinging. Mm -hmm. And you're going to get, there, it's true that one part of the bicep, excuse me, of the hamstring known as the leg bicep, is involved in the flexing of the knee, but it's also involved in stabilizing when you're hip hinging. And then the big part of the hamstring is the hip, it hip hinges you. So, I mean, if you had to pick one exercise for really well-developed hamstrings, it wouldn't be leg curls. It no. would be no. a Romanian deadlift. Yeah, or yeah. like a single leg deadlift. Way more functional. Way more functional. But yeah. again, if, if you want to work that leg curl motion, I dare you, try it. I don't, even well, if you go to a gym, I challenge you, this is what you do do two hip hinging type hamstring exercises like Romanian deadlifts and maybe like a single leg deadlift and then finish off with your hips elevated physio ball leg curls. And, and, and now here's, this is true now. Most people will feel the hamstrings more with a hips elevated physio ball leg curl than they will on a leg curl yeah. machine because it encourages you to push your hips up and really work those, uh, those hamstrings. Whereas hamstring curl machines, sometimes people bring up their hip flexors to do the, the now, the hamstring curl. how do you guys feel about this new product? And I've seen a lot of people showing me that uh, is basically looks like a ski boot. Oh, monkey feet. Yeah. What? And yeah, it, yeah. It, what? it attaches a dumbbell to basically the heel of your foot. Uh, it's just a weighted do, shoe. Uh, By the way, it's pretty silly. Most of this equipment, it's recycles every 10 years. That's like one of the earliest, <laughs> I'm serious, yeah. one of the earliest pieces of a gym equipment or, you know, at home fit fitness equipment were like weights that you would attach to your wrists and your ankles. Uh -huh. It's just a version of that. Well, what, what they're showing in the in the commercials is like someone standing, they have this dumbbell attached to their shoe. Like donkey kicks? N and no, yeah, or they're doing like a single leg curl, you know, mm -hmm. to do it. Single leg curl, Which, basically. I mean, that's okay, but I'm telling you, it's not working the hamstrings Well, not only that, well. but it's like, I mean, I've got uh, most of my female clients deadlifting 200 plus pounds. 
Yeah. So good luck yeah. putting a 200 pound dumbbell <laughs> on your legs to try and get that same stimulation. I think you're going to get that. No. So I think if you're, if you get really good at single leg deadlifts, RDLs and good mornings, you're going to have well yeah, you're covered. Yeah. You're covered. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here and be sure to subscribe.